Here's another part of our conversation with Joseph Williams of Toto. This is the second time we've chatted. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Jeff Shamil asks, oh, uh, how did it feel to hear the legendary band Chicago and David Foster not only tackle your song, What You're Missing? Well, yeah, no, the, What You're Missing was, this, was, was the very first song I wrote with Jay Greska, who I was telling you about, who produced my first album. And I, and I was really, really learning how to be a songwriter. And so uh, uh, it was really the first full sort of co-written song I had written with somebody. And, I, and through a friend of a friend at a publishing company, it was heard by somebody in Chicago and they decided to cut it for Chicago 16, which for me at that time was like, I thought I had hit the big time. Okay. Yeah, I was like that, you know, that was what it felt like. And it wasn't a big single on the album or anything like that, but they produced it. And it was the first, it was Chicago 16. So it was the first one that, that David Foster did with, produced with them. And it was the first one, it was the album before Peter Cetera left the band. So, so it was that origin, that those, that group of guys right there, right during that period in the eighties, when they had that huge resurgence of success again with, with some movie that had a song in Anyway, yeah, what you're missing was on their album, and that are you kidding me? That I felt like I'm, I felt like I was I made it. Gary Schneider says, "How uh, how did you like singing with Bill Champlin? Uh, oh yeah, is the trio coming back together? Are you going to be doing something with Peter and Bill? You know, it's 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 not a, it's not an impossibility. Right now, it's something that's not like we haven't been talk talking about because it's been so hard for just us to make our total plans." And usually, you know, when the th when me and Peter and Bill work, it usually means that one or the two of us has to make a trip over to Sweden to do some work on something Peter's recording. So that hasn't happened. Um, uh, Peter will sometimes come to L.A. and we'll do some work here, but he hasn't yet had the time to do that. So unfortunately, there's no like uh, uh, official plans to do anything. But I love those guys. And, you know, Bill Ch Ch singing with Champlin, especially like all the work we've done in the studio doing backgrounds on different people's albums and stuff. He's one of my favorite people and one of the, you know, greatest, most talented singers to, to work with in, in the studio. So if the opportunity came, I would love it right, right now, like Luke's Luke's and my focus is just trying to get, you know, like a, 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 a tour, you know, more, more of a, as much of a tour set up for next year. So we can get back to, 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 to being Toto. Zeppelin four turns 50. Were you ever a fan? Huge fan, a huge fan of, of all of all their stuff. I, I don't have quite as as a, as a as a, 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 um, a put together catalog memory of all of their albums, which songs were on which, as I as I do, for instance, for the Beatles. But I was a huge fan of all of those albums when I was big, when I was little, and loved you know Robert Plant's voice. It's definitely one of my one of my guys. So happy birthday. <laughs> 